Welcome to Creative Practice Healing Practice on this Tuesday, the 17th of March. I hope you're having a good day, whatever time of day it is where you are. And um, let's enter together into God's presence. Oh God, come to my assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help me. Praise the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit, both now and forever the God who is and who was and who is to come at the end of the ages. I remind myself that as I sit here now, God is gazing on me with love and holding me in being. I pause for a moment and think of this. There are very few people who realize what God would make of them if they abandoned themselves into his hands and let themselves be formed by his grace, St. Ignatius. I ask for the grace to trust myself totally to God's love. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, the God who is, who was, and who is to come at the end of the ages. So our scripture for today comes to us from the Old Testament, the book of Daniel, in the 13th chapter. Um, Let us listen for God's word to us, and as we listen, um, let us consider what our word might be for this day and what our text might be for this day. Daniel 3 beginning in the 19th verse. Then Nebuchadnezzar was so filled with rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that his face was distorted. He ordered the furnace to be heated up seven times more than was customary and ordered some of the strongest guards in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to throw them into the furnace of blazing fire. So the three were bound, still wearing their tunics, their trousers, their hats, and their other garments, and they were thrown into the furnace of blazing fire. Because the king's command was urgent and the furnace was so overheated, the raging flames killed the men who lifted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But the three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the furnace of blazing fire. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up quickly. He said to his counselors, Was it not three men that we threw bound into the fire? They answered the king, O true king. He replied, But I see not three, but four men unbound, walking in the middle of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the fourth has the appearance of a god. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the door of the furnace of blazing fire and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come out. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out from the fire. The satraps, the prefects, the governors, and the king's counselors gathered together and saw that the fire had not had any power over the bodies of those men. The hair of their heads was not singed, their tunics were not harmed, and not even the smell of fire came from them. Nebuchadnezzar said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the king's command and yielded up their bodies rather than serve and worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make a decree. Any people, nation, or language that utters blasphemy against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be torn limb from limb and their houses laid to ruins. For there is no other god who is able to deliver in this way. Let's listen to this intriguing text one more time. Then Nebuchadnezzar was so filled with rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that his face was distorted. He ordered the furnace to be heated up seven times more than was customary 
and ordered some of the strongest guards in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the furnace of blazing fire. So the men were bound, still wearing their tunics, their trousers, their hats, and their other garments, and they were thrown into the furnace of blazing fire. Because the king's command was urgent and the furnace was so overheated, the raging flames killed the men who lift, lifted up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But the three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the furnace of blazing fire. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up quickly. He said to his counselors, Was it not three men that were we threw bound into the fire? And they answered the king, True, O king. He replied, but I see four men unbound walking in the middle of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the fourth has the appearance of a god. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the door of the furnace of blazing fire and said, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire, and the satraps, the prefects, the governors, and the king's counselors gathered together and saw that the fire had not had any power over the bodies of those men. The hair of their heads was not singed, their tunics were not harmed, and not even the smell of fire came from them. Nebuchadnezzar said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the king's command, and yielded up their bodies rather than serve and worship any god except their own god. Therefore I make a decree, any people, nation, or language, that others blaspheme against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, shall be torn limb from limb and their houses laid in ruins, for there is no other god who is able to deliver in this way. Powerful story, powerful story from the book of Daniel. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So what are the words that you're going to take with you into your silence this day? What is the subtext that is your text? Um, there's so much there. So um, um, as sometimes happens, sometimes we need to find that in our silence rather than take it with us. So let's just let the word of God permeate our hearts and our minds and uh, let us enter into our meditation, into our time of silence uh, together.
So I hope uh, you have found your word and your text um, that will take you to your creative embodiment, that will take you to your creative task. Um, and inform what you will write or what you will doodle or what you will draw or what you will color or what you will design, however you uh, have uh, defined your creative task. And um, some days it might not be different than other days. That's true for me. Some days I'm writing and some days I'm drawing and um, so it is different for me. So um, this is where you pause me and uh, I'll be back in a second and we will finish up today's devotional. Happy creating. So, um, I'm going to just show you my page because everything, everything I did is on this page in my journal. So my um, word that I took into my silence was trust. My text for today was they trusted in him. And my embodiment is, um, I have to tell you, it started out as uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I love to say that. Um, with the flames of fire all around them. It was an afterthought uh, to put in that fourth person that uh, Nebuchadnezzar saw. That was an afterthought for me. And I actually um, ran to get, you can't see it because of the quality of the video, but that fourth person, the one that on the top with the halo is actually done in gold. And um, it, remember it said he was shining. <laughs> Shining like a god. I don't know what a god shines like, but for me, he shines in gold. So that is uh, my creative embodiment for um, this Tuesday, March 17th. And, um, and what does that mean to go for me to, uh, to take forward? What is there in that that I could take into my day that would actualize that for me? Um, I'm, I'm still a little, um, taken with, uh, the, the word trust. And so, um, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna say is that, um, this exercise today has, I, I don't know if I want to say inspired me, um, has challenged me, has exhorted me, maybe, exhortation, um, uh, to stay away from worry today, to stay away from worry, to refrain from worry, because you know what? Walking into the fire, um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego um, trusted. Hmm. They trusted. And I imagine that pretty much the opposite of trusting is worry, is worry. So, um, that's my actionable item today. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know what worries are going to come up. There's always something that um, we can talk ourselves into worrying about. But not today, because today I'm going to trust. I'm going to call myself to trust. How about that? I'm going to call myself to trust. So do write down your actionable item. Keep it in your journal. Uh, practice it for the day as you remember it. Um, or practice it um, when you um, when it comes to mind. I think by writing these things down, um, if you are anything like me, um, writing them down has power. Um, writing them down helps make them more real and um, puts them firmly in my mind. So thanks again for being here and joining me on this journey. Uh, again, please do um, comment or um, share something. Maybe by this time it, it might be getting a little bit easier to share. Maybe we're um, hmm, getting to a place where, where we can be more vulnerable. That would be a good thing. So 
I look forward to interacting with you as you're able to do that. And um, God bless. Have a good day. Bye-bye.